Does this somehow, uh, I guess, indicate what may happen on that front? Yeah, so the update basically is um, uh, after consulting with, uh, with all the doctors um, and, um, you know, getting all the information and taking, you know, taking the time to uh, digest everything, um, is, uh, Brian Little, is, it's recommended by the doctors that Brian Little um, does not play this coming season. Um, and, you know, what that means to uh, the future uh, will, you know, again, that'll be addressed at, uh, you know, at, at the appropriate times. But um, that's essentially, you know, where, where things are at with, uh, with Brian. Um, and then in terms of getting uh, a player like Paul back, who obviously had that great chemistry with Patrick Liney and Nikolai Ehlers, again, there's been a lot of talk, of course, about Patrick uh, and, and his situation. Um, does this change his situation in your eyes at all and his, I guess, immediate future with the Jets that you've, you've brought in a centerman here that he has familiarity and chemistry with? You know, again, um, I know as a manager here, it's my job to continue to look, uh, you know, at all things. You're, you know, addressing individual players' speculation, you know, with respect to trades is just something I don't do. Uh, again, um, if there's opportunities to, to make our team better, it's my obligation to continue to look at them. Thank you. We'll go next to uh, Sarah Orlowski from TSN. Go ahead, Sarah. Hi, Kevin. Hi. Just wondering how long the process was that you were dealing with Kelly regarding maybe acquiring Stastny and bringing him back in. Um, so I can't remember exactly when the original, you know, kind of conversations, um, you know, w would have been. I think it's probably for each of the managers that were in the bubble and, and uh, their specific teams, um, you know, you were, you were respectful of where they were at in their playing process. And then once, um, you know, once that, you know, ended for them, you know, you give the team some time to decompress and, and start, uh, you know, looking at uh, the, 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 the task at hand. And, and so it was probably several days after um, they left the bubble that, you know, we had our first conversation about where, you know, each organization might, uh, might be going and, and what each organization might be, you know, looking at uh, with respect to um, their own, you know, situation and circumstances uh, probably didn't really start heating up until, uh, well, uh, you know, really uh, the last 24 hours, 48 hours, uh, they all kind of meshed together. Thank you. Alrighty, so we'll go next to uh, Ted Wyman from the Winnipeg Sun. Go ahead, Ted. Hey, Kevin. Uh, I talked a bit earlier in the week about uh, targets being a center, which you've added, and adding on defense. It seems you've definitely added some depth players or some players who are already here and also Dylan DeMello resigned. Um, is that something that you're going to still be looking for, is somebody to come in who can play uh, in the top six of your team and is this a year where you know this is going to be a much more extended kind of free agent period than than normal because of the way things are shaken up so we're going to continue to you know look and and uh, you know see if there are options um you know to improve or upgrade our defense is you know certainly something that uh um you know we're we're i don't know again i think there's um Lots of conversations out there still that, um, that that we're in to see if that's a possibility. From a free agent standpoint, um, you know it's it's interesting uh, to see how some things you know may or may not unfold. Uh, you know the the, the bigger players that um, are out there from a money perspective. Um, you know, again, it, some, some years it's, it's weird. They're, they're off the table or done in a matter of minutes. And, and in some years, you know, um, maybe it takes a matter of days, but it's, it is a unique situation for, you know, for, for all the different teams, um, you know, to be in uh, right now. Um, you know, and again, it doesn't, uh, I'm not sure if, uh, if other managers are experiencing, you know, it, uh, you know, that way as well, but it's, uh, you know, certainly, uh, uh, again, for us, there's a, there's a finite, amount of money that, um, you know, that, uh, that's left in, in, in the cap. All righty. We'll go next to, uh, Paul Friesen from the Winnipeg Sun. Go ahead, Paul. Thanks, Gregor. Hi, Kevin. Now, Hi. anything, what, if anything has struck or surprised you about day one of free agency? 
Well, it uh, you know the market within the market of the goalie seems to be the uh, you know the, the the story. I guess you see uh, a lot of different musical chairs. Um, you know when it comes to you know goalies, and uh, fortunately we, we you know we didn't have to be in that market. I'm sure it can be pretty stressful. Um, you know if if you're 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 shopping there. Um, and again, you know, I think just going back to some of the bigger, you know, the bigger free agents that that will take uh, a lot of, um, you know, cap space, you know, to get signed, uh, just to see, you know, what the ripple effect might be, I guess, uh, if and when some of these guys do sign and, um, you know, and, and where, uh, you know, where there might be opportunities that, uh, that, that, that we're not seeing at the moment um, present themselves. Do you plan to spend to the cap? Well, we're pretty, you know, if you, if you really start, um, you know, looking and digging down to, you know, some of our RFAs and, and the different things, um, you know, we're, we'll, we're going to, you know, I guess if I can find, you know, pieces that fit, yeah, we're, we're um, you know, we'll go to the cap if we have to. Um, you know, again, with Brian's um, uh, injury and the, the recommendation, uh, at some point in time, we could become a, an LTI team uh, of which, again, you know, the cap, uh, it is handled a little differently and, and uh, becomes a very important thing to manage, um, you know, properly moving forward. There's lots of intricacies in the CBA that, um, you know, when you, when you become an LTI team over the course of the entire season. Thank you. Thank you. And we'll go next to Murat Atesh from The Athletic. Go ahead, Murat. Hi, Kevin. My question kind of follows up on LTIR, and I must confess the intricacies would be well beyond me. But one understanding I have is that the pool you get is bigger the closer to the cap you are when you go to that. And I'm yes. wondering then what would we what would we need to see from you before before that before Brian Little would move to LTIR? Well, and again, it, it, it really doesn't become applicable until the season starts. So, um, you know, again, there's lots of different, uh, you know, situations that uh, if, if you are going to be an LTIR, which, you know, we could maybe, I don't know, we'll see, um, you know, then uh, uh, there'll be a reason why it'll be through, you know, through a transaction or, or whatever that, um, that makes it happen. But it's not something that, you know, technically uh, happens um, a lot. Uh, in the in the summertime, it's mostly or in the off season. It's mostly in the uh, when the season starts. And presumably, I guess, and you've sort of spoken to this already, but it's the follow up. Is does that presumably leave you room to add a defenseman or otherwise with uh, you know more contract than we see cap space today? Yes, it could. Thank you. And we'll go next to uh, Scott Billick from the Winnipeg Sun. Go ahead, Scott. My mic working this time. I hope it is. So. All right, sounds good. Thanks, Gregor, and, and good afternoon, Chevy. Um, question yeah. on just yeah around Brian Little. I mean, the, I'm sure you guys have known it for a while now. Well, not maybe a while, but I mean, mm -hmm. just given how last season went and and how it hasn't really progressed, I seem I assume. Uh, what is the feeling just from a human standpoint uh, from the club uh, regarding Brian? Well, certainly we wanted to be extremely respectful, you know, on, on how all this was handled and give him as much um, opportunity to, to, to seek, uh, you know, opinions and doctors and tests. And um, we wanted to be, you know, obviously ultra cautious uh, uh, with him, you know, obviously with a, a head injury um, of that magnitude and, and obviously the, the, that it's taking this long, um, you know, you, you, you owe that to him. Uh, he's a special person. Uh, and uh, has been part of our, you know, family. Came over from, uh, you know, from Atlanta. Uh, really planted roots, uh, you know, here uh, in uh, in Winnipeg when it came time to uh, resign, and and uh, you know, just uh, you know, loves the city and, and loves being a part of this organization. So uh, it's it's you know, it's, it's emotional when you have you know conversations like we had, um, you know, with him the other day uh, discussing this. Um, you feel for him because, uh, you know, he wants to play, he wants to play badly and, and, uh, um, but he has to make sure that he puts, uh, his, you know, his family and his health, uh, ahead of everything. And, and we, you know, fully support him for that 100%. Thanks for that. And just to follow up, uh, you just, uh, just announced, uh, uh, Lucas Abiza signed. I don't know if anybody asked you about him yet. So yeah, no, uh, not yet. It, I assume that is just another kind of fit thing. I mean, everybody that signed has kind of played for this team before at some point or another, I think. So 
That's a yeah, fit Luke, a fit thing for him. Yeah, Luca. Uh, we moved, uh, you know, um, uh, Dahlstrom today as well in the uh, in the Stastny uh, deal. Um, you know, Luca. You know, gives us uh, great flexibility to you know. Uh, um, kind of go in multiple different directions uh, if we want to, you know, choose uh, that. But uh, you know, he's uh, he's a guy that came in and, and really, you know, helped us during a um, you know a tough period of time. Uh, a real good veteran, a real good pro, uh, someone that uh, again, you know, behind the scenes, you know, really works hard and is there uh, for whatever you know role we need him uh, to play. Um, and uh, you know, again, just you know, a real good pro that. Uh, um, will give us the, uh, the, the, the flexibility that we need moving forward.